September 2022, Altair Enterprise, known in the industry from hypermesh and different finite element packages, decided to open to the world both source code and binaries of Radio's explicit FEM solver, now called it Open Radios. Considering the excellence and robustness of the solver, this is a huge step in the current state of free and open source software present. Do you want to learn how to use open radios? Let's go with it! Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to perform an open radio single run from an incremental forming example, which you can find on the less preposed tutorials from the description below. Once the run is complete, I will show you also how to convert the results to a VTK, which is a Paraview format, and how to animate them, okay? So let's go with it. The main thing you want to do is to, to go to the GitHub, uh, GitHub main page of this solver, Open Radios. This is github.com, Open Radios, and Open Radios, because Open Radios is also a, a main page for and other tools of the same project, okay? So once on the GitHub page, we will go to tags to this, to this icon, and we can download the binaries here in latest uh, 2023 uh, 0925, which is the last, the last build of the source in, in Linux or Windows, and you can get here the, the source code, okay? So, now we have downloaded the open radius binaries here, and we have the incremental forming center, which is the original LSDINA problem, but with the sphere put in the center, because uh, if we put the sphere in, in one point at the side, it's like open radius is moving uh, the trajectory of the of the sphere, and this is offset uh, that amount of, of of distance. Okay, open radius is here, and this is a, a file which is set vars. I have put in the description below, um, and if we open it. We have here the path. We should change this path to the current path of our program. This is my path. You have to change this in the file, okay? Once you have changed this and you have the corrected file, which uh, which can be corrected uh, by you uh, from this uh, original file and go into the tutorials. I put the description below in LSDINA uh, how to run, how to move a, a part of the of the problem, okay, of the of the model. So having this file and on the other side having the software, the binaries, we will open a CMD. I will teach you how to run the Open Radio software by the conventional way, <clears throat> by setting the the bars, the directories uh, for the for the run, but uh, with the current state of the things, you you can download uh, some Windows uh, scripts, which will make it easy for you. But uh, I will prefer to teach you all the way uh, the the hard way. In order to to you to understand how is uh, open radios working, in fact, okay. So we go here, CD and the path of open radios, and we can change our uh, our key, our our directory, okay. And set vars. Remember to modify previous previously this file, this uh, I'm sorry, this path, okay. Now we have set the path, we can go to the directory in which is the run, which is incremental forming, okay? CD and the path. And here we will put the, uh, the path of the binaries, which is 
my path of the of the open radius binaries which is here exec and the first thing we will do is to run the starter in which we convert uh, the open radius the um, lsdyna i'm sorry k file command line or, or, or q or file to the open radius format okay this is done by the starter executable executable so we run it with a starter uh, win 64 uh, this i stand from input file and here is our key file okay so we have converted this center k to these three files the one we are interested uh, to is this okay so the next thing we do is to run again the open radios uh, binaries uh, programs open radios exec and here instead of starter we will put engine okay and here the same thing but instead of the key file we will put the rad file which stands for radios okay In incremental forming center 0001 point or dot rad okay so also pay attention to this the rad file if we open it this anim words indicated that we are saving our outputs as animations and this is very useful to us in order to convert them to paraview format okay so the first time step always take a little bit longer but when it uh, run it begins to run the successive time steps okay now we have running our problem here and in the directory is running is generating all the this center a 11 10 9 are the animations okay which are which are being generated by the, the solver in the meantime we can download the script in order to convert the output to paraview format if we want to see the results we can uh, see them on paraview which is a free and open source software down in the description below also i will put this link which uh, is uh, the link in which these scripts are put so we download this in if we have windows system we download this and we go to downloads and this is the script the thing here is to put this directory this is important in the same folder the same level of open radios okay i have i have extracted it already this is the is the directory inside the zip file but the important things is this directory have to be in the same level of all these folders okay so once the the run is completed I will cut it uh, you will be open it open this uh. so we are in the open radius folder with the script folder here we will open this exe file this open radius run script for windows mpi and once is open and we have this box containing a selectable folder here we will select the folder in which we have run the our our model but uh, inside okay i have saved this folder here which all the runs okay which with all the outputs once here we will click in anim btk and run starter only we will not uh, do the run itself 
uh, we are using the script only to generate BTK output files. Okay, this is important because this script is also designed to run the solver. But uh, I wanted to show you how to run the solver outside this uh, this script. Okay, we click on Add Shop, accept, and here is creating our outputs from the animations created by. Uh, open radius okay if we go to the here being generated all the vtk's uh, paraview files here okay so and here we have all our uh, status of conversion okay okay once our vtk files are created I created here in the incremental forming folder. We will open Paraview in order to open all the results and do an animation or whatever. Here open and I am already in the in the folder of the of all the, the runs. Okay, here all the VTK outputs. So I I'm collapse this and select here in all files. Okay, and once I put apply, I have here my sphere in the center and if I, for example, put in plastic strain and go here and the end of the run, I can see here my sphere which is moved already, okay. It was in the center, but like my moving up, my moving curve begins in some uh, concrete x axis position. The sphere is like displaced to this point, so for that it's important to put the sphere in the center. Okay, and here, here rescaling. This this uh, is like. I I'm showing some commands of Paraview. If we want to, if you want to to learn how to how to use Paraview in a detailed way, we can uh, you can go to the description below in which I explain you how to to run a basic a basic function view and and another videos. Okay, so here I can change my scale. And I can view here how is the animation of the entire simulation. Okay, I am here viewing the incremental plastic strain which is suffering displayed by the contact the contact of the of the sphere. Okay, so this is all. This is a simple tutorial on how to run Open Radius and see the results on, on Paraview. I hope you like it. And in that case, please uh, hit on the subscribe button. So we will see on the next video. Bye bye.